hear that? Sounds like a loud ass dogs way down there. I hear bees, birds. Bees and birds. So it's different out here than it was in West Virginia. You know, growing up, I always thought West Virginia was like this beautiful place and that all the houses must be in the country. <clears throat> in a lot of cases, that's true. A lot of parts of it, it's true. But where I was from, it wasn't. Um, <clears throat> even the two acres we were living on before, and another house were there, another house were there, another house were there, and on across the street as well. All about the same size of land, you know, some bigger, some maybe a little smaller, but it was about the same. <clears throat> but it was congested. And it's right next to Martinsburg, you know, it just felt dirty. I'm not saying nothing against Martinsburg, per se, but it just felt dirty. Um, it wasn't, when I grew up in Montgomery County, Maryland, until 2012, I believe it was, I took off to North Carolina, I lived basically out there. A long, long time in the country. In the country, it's uh, <clears throat> there's one town. If we go this way, it takes about 20 minutes to get there. But if you want to go out to like a Walmart or any other crap, is you got to go that way, and it's 45 minutes at least. It's all back roads, two lanes gone. This place we've been setting up real nice. Been setting it up real nice. Finally got got the deck done. Um, for the for the building, got that done. I got the fence done, and I'm putting up some new dog kennels. And <clears throat> I believe it's like next week or so they're gonna start putting a concrete pad down there. We're gonna make, we're gonna build our own dog kennel. Decided to stay here and work. Decided to stay here and work. I'm gonna recreate Terry's creations and start building furniture. And I live here next to Lake Anna, <clears throat> Virginia. There's two things out here that I've noticed. It's either country or money. Money, 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 money. Around Lake Anna, that whole, literally that whole big ass lake is owned house, house, house. Beautiful, gorgeous, all different designs. I'm just one of the prettiest stuff you've ever seen. And when you're going down through there in a the boat and you're trolling around at boat docks and stuff, you get to look at these houses and the details. It's, it's gorgeous, but they got a lot of money. I guarantee you any one of them houses out there is at least a million dollars. <clears throat> but it's big, big lake. But um, yeah, he's either the country people where we're at, or up there next, closer to the lake, where the money's at. But the but the people around here are awesome. I mean, everybody's really nice. We've been getting a lot, know a lot of people. We got, <clears throat> we already had a guy do a couple jobs for us, grading and stuff like that, and he did a really good job. And he's straight up, he's an old man, does his own stuff. He says he'd ride around on the tractors all day for free if, if he could afford the gas, but you know what I mean? He loves doing it. So he's done some stuff for us, and I've been on the boat a couple times. I, was it yesterday? Yesterday, day before yesterday, <clears throat> I hooked into two, but I lost two. At the same time, one come out, throw on the hook. But either way, so we've got this place we're hooking up, and it's really nice, and this place is really nice. So I start, I'm start <clears throat> my business again. I'm going to start building furniture, like I said. I'm going to do that for a while. And now the funny thing is the wife, you know, she's... So she's already been on... She's already been on some of the yard sales around here. Yard sale sites around here. And yeah, people are already putting orders in. Luckily, I picked up some wood. And I've got some things going on. And I'm going to let you know as I go. You can watch me grow this. You know, you've been around for a long time. It's not so much the pigeons as much anymore. I do have some. But... Just gonna have to go to some other things right now. The one thing I don't like about birds around here is that there's no sky, it's surrounded by trees. So yeah, the ones I have now, I'll probably keep them until I don't have them anymore. You know? <clears throat> but until then, I'm gonna start building things and showing you things and showing you how I build things. I've got some projects coming up. I have a friend that doesn't doesn't do a whole lot of work right now because she's taking care of her taking care of her mom. And I've been telling her she had a wood a work woodworking shop there that her uh, stepdad had, her mom's husband. He passed. I said, I got some ideas right now. You could make some money really quick. She's like, yeah, I'd like to do, yeah. And thing is, like, as soon as I decided I was going to do it again, and we had such a reputation back in West Virginia, 
It's like, bam, here I go again. But now I'm going to be setting up with this new garage we got coming. There's three bays, and it's got a big bay with just a, a door going in. So I'm going to make that into a, a woodworking shop on that side. Block that off. Woodworking shop. And, um, but until then, i got to do this stuff freehand right here, maybe on a truck bed with a chop saw, sander, you know, and get some stuff done. But I hope you stick around and watch because there's really been a lot of changes. Just think how I feel. You know, the wife, there's a couple reasons that she wanted to move out here. One's be closer to her job, but there was, there was another one that we took into uh, consideration. And we're going to gonna make this place right. You know what I'm saying? Everything's, listen. Man, it's awesome. You know, I appreciate you watching. I'm going to keep you updated as we go. Mm hmm, yeah, so there. Finally got all my stuff on the yard in the backyard separated. And this is the beginning of my workshop. Yep. Out here in the yard. All my tools sitting over there. I just pulled them all out. They were uh inside the back of my truck with the camper shell, so everything's good. I've got a cover to go over top of them when things get rough out here for a while until the building comes early next month. But yeah, this is an old cabin that I had. I tore it up a little bit during the move. I'm gonna fix it. This is a big stack of, uh, I have 20 cedar fence pickets. Yep. They're like five eighths inch thick. They're six foot long and almost six inches wide. They really work good for wood projects. And that's what we're gonna do. See all this? There's my table. There's my saw horses back there. I'm going to try to set up. I need to run my planer. See my planer? I need to run a certain amount of these boards. So I'm, I'm building a stove cover. Jasmine, can you please be quiet? Jasmine! A mouthy little girl. But there's all my tools, main tools. I'm going to do this with. I had a tractor to help me move all this heavy stuff. So I'm moving it all up here because everything I said, all my tools stuff will be covered. But when a building goes up, when the building goes up, then I can put up, then I can put the stuff inside and I'll be right here. Because this one end right here is going to be the the one bay with just the door. So I don't have, so I'll have a big section right there from this stuff. And I'm going to turn it into a workshop. Yay. But for now, this is what I'm starting with. Pile, a pile of, a pile of tools. Three sections of a mailbox with the other one. I mean, uh, my toolbox. One, two, and the big one. Where did it go? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know. Oh, it's right there. Hi. So in the meantime, I'm gonna fix this up too. Fix up the whole front, get it all redone. It's all cedar, I love it. But I tore it up, like I said. But that's what we're starting with today. I'll show you where we get with. I'm going to straighten all this up. And then I'm going to get down to getting some stuff done. Okay. So there's the pile of wood still sitting there. But look. Went ahead and took that big heavy duty plastic table. Well, strong enough to support the weight of that planer. That's the heaviest piece of equipment I have. Strapped it to this thing just to make it a little more. Look at this. All crooked and stuff still. Yeah made two entirely two different types but anyway there's my table look got my toolbox all set up like i said i have covers i can cover this stuff up at night anyway unless it's raining i'll just shut the top on this it's good been surviving out in the yard since we moved here we had no buildings to put it in so that's how i'm gonna get ready to get started i did notice i cannot find my craig jig stuff you know, I know I just saw it the other day. I'll let you know how that goes. But there it is. We're getting ready, we're getting ready to rip down some boards. We're gonna plane them out first, rip them down, and turn them into some stuff. That's right, stick around. It'll, it'll be very interesting what happens around here. I stop for a snack. The best cheesy puffs on the market. The ones from Food Line. See how I got stuff here. Look at this. I made two of these. It took one picket to make that. 
Complete. Complete. Wife said, can you make one a little bit wider? Yeah, I can. We think that's pretty neat. I think so. I made two of those in a matter of time. Here's my little setup. I don't have the right right extension cord to plug in my planner for right now, so I'm just messing around. I'm gonna cut the wood I need for the stove top. Like I said, I made two of them. And then this is my left off from one one of those cedar fence posts, uh, fence pickets. So one I had was darker. It's more rustic, it's in the house. I like that one. I like this one too. That's what's left over from this one. Quick and easy. I use Craig jigs, Craig jig holes, whatever you want to call it. Two on each side, nice and strong. I went ahead and used a one inch wood bit, drilled out that. And on the bottom, I just countersunk four Phillips in case you want to tear them out of there, eventually replace them. Four screws, nothing fancy. We're just going to make some a little bit bigger. Stand by, because me and Bug, 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 me and you having fun today? Me and Bug's having fun today. Starting to see how easy it is to do this stuff. And it's still early. It took me all of, I'd say maybe, I could do, I could do a few within a, probably half an hour. Yeah. If I really got down. It probably took me about 15 minutes each. Once I figured, well, I cut everything the same size. And it all went together pretty well, so I guess I figured it out. Well, now let's figure some other stuff out. What do you think? All made out of one cedar fence picket. Cut these 12. Cut these 16. The bottom, I just cut the saws, whatever the end of it was. It was uh, 16 plus 5, 8, 17 and a half, somewhere like that. That's for my own little design. I ripped down a little one piece of the cedar for the handle. I tapered it down real good on this end, real good on this end, so it'd slide in nice and neat. But the best thing about it, it's not tapered here, it's not tapered here, so it won't let it slide out. What I did was took this apart, put this in there, and then screwed it back together. Next time, it'll be that's the way I'll do it from here on out. Just a little tip. These are uh, got pocket hole jig screws in there. Pocket hole screws, whatever you call. And see how I age this with the grinder? The grinder wheel just hitting it, making it look like. And then you take down the edges, you beat down the edges, make it look like it's make it look like it's been beat up, you know? It's supposed to be old style. Like even here. So I'm gonna do is just do the final sanding. And then that's it. That's what I did two of these already. Took me no time at all. Whew, so far, it's been a busy day.